Arc flash and electrical hazard risk should not be ignored in your facility. Arc flash protection should be used when working on energized equipment, and Little Fuse has a solution to provide this protection. The arc flash relay quickly detects arc flash events and sends a trip signal to a circuit breaker in less than one millisecond. Light sensors detect the initial spark. How does it do it? Let's take a closer look at the capabilities of the arc flash relay by focusing on its wiring diagram. This image shows every possible connection to the arc flash relay. Starting at the top left, we see a few terminal options for input voltage. This is the power supply section. The standard 100 to 240 volt power supply not only powers the relay, but also sends a charging signal to the backup battery. If the power supply is lost, the relay automatically switches over to battery backup for continued protection. Moving to the right, the next two terminals are used to connect to other arc flash relays if desired for larger systems. You can link up to four arc flash relays together and still only need one set of contacts for connecting to the actual breaker or trip coil. Next, inputs are provided for inhibit, remote trip, and remote reset. If no overcurrent situation is detected and inhibit is connected, the relay's LEDs will still operate when it sees an arc flash but not trip the breaker. This helps eliminate light-related nuisance trips. Moving to the outputs, the online output provides the unit healthy status. This signal can go to a PLC or to an operator station to notify everyone that there's active protection and the relay is online and operating. The service output indicates if the relay is in service or in operation mode. Service mode is used when testing on the faceplate using the mode, trip, and reset buttons. The tripped output notifies the state of the relay, whether it is tripped or not. These can be connected for remote indication or into a PLC. The actual tripping of the circuit breaker is accomplished using the set of terminals in the upper right corner. We use a very fast solid state device to provide the arc flash relay's one millisecond trip time. The relay is continuously monitoring the connection to the circuit breaker to ensure proper operation. The relay includes a redundant internal trip path for increased reliability. In the middle of the relay, we find a USB port which allows the built-in unit software to be easily connected to a PC without needing additional software or drivers. Moving to the bottom of the relay, we first find six sensor inputs. Each can connect to a point sensor or a fiber optic sensor. These sensors are also continually monitored for wiring damage and can indicate exact location of the fault. Fiber optic cables can be run in equipment to detect arc flash along their entire length, while point sensors can be fitted and installed for directional monitoring. To their right are inputs for the three-phase current transformers. They allow for arc flash protection based on both current and light using the point and fiber optic sensors. This avoids nuisance tripping in applications with considerable ambient light or in a facility with other light sources such as welding. By detecting both light and current, the relay will not nuisance trip. Let Little Fuse provide valuable solutions for your protection relay needs. The arc flash relay is compact, flexible, and extremely reliable in terms of protection and performance. Visit our website for more information.